What's up? This is Bloody Murmur. Raymond Dark. Cole. And we're Angel Massacre. This is October. What's up? This is Bloody from Angel Massacre, and this is day one of October with Angel Massacre. Uh, we're here at uh, Ground Zero in Spartanburg, one of our very favorite places to play. And day one of October, we are uh, opening up for Venom Inc. Safe and 72 Legions with our good friends Crusade and uh, Coffin Torture, yeah, I believe. So, yeah. Fucking stoked for this whole month. Fucking stoked for this show, especially. And uh, hell yeah, I'm gonna rip this motherfucker, new asshole. Hell yeah. Woo! Ooh, it's gonna be a bad ass show. Got anything to add, Nick? No. Uh, what else, dude? <laughs> hell yeah. For our brothers in Crusade. Ready to throw down. This is Nicole with Angel Massacre. I'm sitting down with Raven Dark today to ask a few questions to get to know the guys a little. So, Raven Dark, what year did Angel Massacre begin? June of 2006. And how did Angel Massacre begin? Creation by two brothers that love extreme heavy metal music. And how did you guys get the name Angel Massacre? going through different record stores and just picking up cool names and kind of mixing them together till we found one that stick. And what were your inspirations for Angel Massacre and the style of music you play? It's black metal bands, uh, bands like Mayhem, Gorgoroth, and Dark Funeral. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? All right. Well, thanks for sitting down with us today, and I hope you have a good evening. sitting down with Murmur from Angel Massacre today. And Murmur, how did you come up with your name? Uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia and uh, was it the Lesser Key of Solomon. Nice. Each entry. And what does your name mean? It's a, uh, one of the Grand Dukes of Hell, I believe. There's so many legions and demons and blah, blah, blah. But it's, you can, after you've died, you can go and ask him a single question and he has to answer it. It's just, it's odd. Oh, that's like, cool. Yeah, it's deep. Hell yeah. And what instrument do you play in Angel Massacre? I play bass guitar and backing vocals as well. Nice. And how long have you been with Angel Massacre? Three years? Two and a half, three years. 
Nice. And how did you hear about Angel Massacre? Uh, I worked with a lady, Nicole, and uh, she started dating a dude that was looking to start a band that I hadn't played in a very long time. And then uh, met them at a party, and uh, here we are. All right. And what would you say some of your inspirations for black metal are? Black metal? Yes. Uh, fuck. I like, uh, I'm blanking out. Dark Thrones, one of my favorite bands. I, uh, to be fair, I didn't listen to a lot of black metal before this, but, uh, I mean, like, Electric Wizard was a big one. A lot of, like, satanic influence. The Nun Slaughter was another very good one. But, uh, I'll say, I guess, black metal-wise, biggest influence would be Dark Thrones. Nice. And is there anything else you'd like to add into your interview today that you feel like fans would want to know? Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to conclude this interview. It was nice to talk to you tonight. Hey, guys, this is Nicole and Raven Dark, and we're here at Death Mountain with Holific, Gutted Cries, Crusade, and, of course, Angel Massacre. Lots of titties. Um, it is the third show <laughs> in October. <laughs> And we're excited, and we're going to throw down tonight and have a great yeah. time. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Uh, you got anything to add, Nick? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to a good show at Death Mountain. Fucking A. Woo! Woo! Cheers! Woo! Oh, God damn. What you think? Don't worry. You're cut off already. So he's wearing some fucking name. No more drugs. No more alcohol. A man, duh. What? I love you. I'm getting you first. Uh. <laughs> That would be like a great album cover. A nun cuts her own dick. Yeah, and the blood sprays everywhere. It's like a fountain coming out of the dick. <laughs> oh now look at this outfit right here. Woo! Angel Massacre, and I am sitting down with Ghoul today. So, Ghoul, how did you come up with your name? Uh, well, I was going through trying to find names that were taken in the black metal scene, and uh, something popped up to me of how it was a taker of souls, and it just fit, fit right for my personality and everything. And so, Ghoul came up, and the spelling was different than. I'd seen before, so I really dug it, and uh, so I just went with it. Oh, yeah. And how did you hear about Angel Massacre? How did you join the band? Uh, through a mutual friend, I was uh, actually going to take a break from music, and uh, ran into a friend, my buddy D, our buddy DJ, and uh, Angel Massacre was looking for a drummer, and I'd seen it before on social media, and I thought, well, I'm going to might give it a try out and some time passed and so I went and saw Angel Massacre and Valor at a show and DJ introduced me to Mathis and everyone and I said why not give it a try and uh, I'm very glad I did. Nice and well, who would you say were your inspirations for black metal? Well uh, Nicholas Barker is a drummer uh, for you know I know it's symphonic black metal but when he was in Cradle of Filth and Demi Borgia, um, how his how he played was just something I'd never seen before. And then over the years, like Hellhammer, uh, from Mayhem, and other you know black metal drummers, you know Faust and 
uh, frost and all those. Like uh, I really dug it, and it was a different style of different blast beats of different kinds, different grooves. And so I just try to uh, accumulate all of that into my style of playing. Nice. And what instrument do you play? Drums. Hell yeah. <laughs> and is there anything else you would like to add to this interview today? Well, nothing much really. Just, just very glad to uh, be an Angel Massacre and just enjoy the blast beats and blast beats. Blast beats and blasphemy. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for sitting down with me this evening. You have a good evening. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is Buddy from Angel Massacre, and we're on day three? Four, three? technically. Day four, technically, of uh, October, and we are here in Greenville, South Carolina, in, in Coet Art Gallery. Really, really nice place. Really, lots of really cool art. And everything, the whole the whole building is just like decorated, badass. The, uh, we're playing tonight with Sorcerer, uh, Curse of Flesh, and Must Not Kill. So, yeah, looking forward to it. We're doing a two-day stint with Sorcerer tonight here in Greenville, and tomorrow in uh, Durham. But, yeah, it's gonna be a banger. So yeah, let's do this shit. Right there. Stink facing and all. Stink, Stink face. face. <laughs> little video for the October. Oh, I'm ruining it. Sorry. No, you're not. I can put music behind it. Okay, great. And there's Amanda. <laughs> Woo, Nick. <laughs> Metal and do art at the same time. I'm sitting down with Bloody from Angel Massacre today. So, Bloody, how did you come up with your name? Um, so, when I was about, I was a teenager, 18, 19 or so, I was hanging out with a lot of friends that were also in bands and stuff at the time, and one of my friends was called, his name was Freddy, and his last name was Peretti. <laughs> and he didn't like people knowing that was his name because everybody just called him Peretti. So we was at a show and I kept calling him Freddy Peretti. And he, his, 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 his response was, fuck you, Mattress. Because my real name's Mathis. And from Mathis, it became Dirty Mattress and then playing in black metal and doing all the stage antics and stuff. It became Bloody Mattress, and I just shortened it to Bloody and everything. I think it suits me quite well. Nice, it does. And how did you hear about Angel Massacre? I first heard about Angel Massacre via, let's see, you and uh, Raven Dark and everything. Um, when I first met Raven Dark, and everything um, you had mentioned that he was in a had been in a black metal band and never just wanted to get it back together and stuff and then through social media and other things and stuff too and everything I noticed you know band come back around and stuff and I started seeing pictures and this and that and people started talking and everything else and being it is that you know I love black metal music and everything else that then I obviously just kind of jumped in like what's going on here 
and everything and stuff. And yeah, that's how I found out about the band. Nice. And what do you do in Angel Masker? I I am the lead vocal and um, also the guitar player with uh, or I guess I guess you could say rhythm guitar player and stuff for Angel Masker. Um, yeah. So. And who would you say were your black metal um, inspirations? Um, growing up when I was younger and everything, uh, I stumbled on bands like going through like the record stores and just like I've never heard of this band before, but the covers look cool and stuff. Um, way before the internet became super popular and everything, um, I stumbled onto bands like Dark Funeral. Um, Dissection, uh, Darth Throne, really big Black Witchery fan, and more kind of some above ground, but a lot of underground bands and everything. And I take a little bit of influence from all that and stuff. Um, I go through moods to where I want to hear just this one style of music or this one genre, this one you know, subdivision of black metal and everything. And if I'm writing, then my writing kind of goes after that and everything else. So it's a little bit scattered, but yeah, a little bit of everything. So Nice. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell us or anything about yourself? Um, as far as me, um, I absolutely love being in this band. Um, I've been playing music for... <coughs> I've been playing in bands that go out and play shows and live for 23 or 24 years now. And I've been in a lot of different bands. Um, and as far as all the bands I've been in and all the things I've done and stuff, Angel Massacre is more suited to what I enjoy personally, and it's more natural to me. Um, I'm, I've always been really big into black metal music. The imagery, the the message, the, the whole shebang and everything, and a lot of other bands I've been in and stuff, it's always had elements here and there that I enjoy, but as a, an entire whole and everything um angel massacre has been more of like literally like a shoe in for me and everything so nice well thanks for sitting down with us tonight and you. you have a good evening this is angel massacre on day five of october we are here at the lovely moon dog meadery in durham north carolina now we're playing with our friends from Tampa Sorcerer and Deceptor, which are from around the area and everything. But yeah, uh, it's going to be a nasty motherfucker for sure. So yeah, uh, cheers. Let's do this shit. Nick, you got anything to say tonight? Oh, everybody keeps asking me, man. I got nothing to fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it came into the butt cheeks, but it didn't come to the underwear. <laughs> Sweet come to pick me up. I'm fucking chubby. She's like, I think you should ask me. I was like, no, you did. She shit herself. I got fucking proof. <laughs> and I asked Michelle, I was just like, did, did she end up shitting her pants? That's all your fucking wingers I had. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's, dude. Oh. Road scoops. I have to fucking do. <laughs> I don't like pooping at venues, but every once in a while. Yeah. And then you have the blood red shit on the fucking hanging on toilet paper. That was scary. <laughs> so we're sitting here with uh, Gull and um, Murmur of Angel Masker and Bloody, of course. And they're having a very in depth conversation about shitting themselves. While out and about, and what foods caused it? Technically, he didn't say your shit himself. No, no, nope, my daughter did. She'll just see this year down the road. Be yeah, so yeah. happy. <laughs> Remember that one time you heard me for shitting my pants? Oh. 
To be fair, his daughter did shit her fucking pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a joke. It happens. Your pants. This happened probably more as an adult for me than a child. I would have said, should you not, yeah? This is the, uh, the, the part of, the part of, um, being older in a band that they don't discuss the amount of times that you shit yourself. Yeah. 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 Before a show. Yeah. <laughs> when you live off off trash food from box joints and gas station food, it's absolutely disgusting. When you're inside. Oh, ended up with KFC instead. Yeah. He yeah he was like yeah he was he was talking about uh he was like man I'm gonna get some talking about and I'm just like dude that's like that's not even like real food. Yeah, it's, it's like it's cursed. Yeah. He threw up from the last time we ate Taco Bell. Yep. It was in Asheville. Yep. Yep. That's from last October. The last the last oh, show of last October. October. Yeah, I threw up on, uh, after Taco Bell in Asheville, and then I passed the fuck out at the uh, Kraken Club. That's what we had before Kraken, too. Yeah. I remember the Taco Bell. So game. no Taco oh, Bell so. while on the road. Nope. No. 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 Still at least like for it. next. Yeah, yeah, not for me. No. Murmur like gets the squirters. This is Nicole, and I'm with Angel Massacre tonight, and tonight we are actually going to be taking our new band photos, and we're getting ready for our upcoming album, so that's why we're taking new band photos, and I'm going to start out by just asking how you guys all met, how this shindig got started. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, so Hey guys. Yeah. Um <laughs> so this guy started out in two thousand six and everything and then um the rest of us uh kinda got glued into place and everything by the lady holding the camera and everything. So her fault. Yeah, it's all it's your fault. fault. Well, yes sir. I definitely like to tell everyone that you're my guys, so I generally feel like that. Even you, Eric, even though I didn't bring you into this, you're still my guy. Well, technically, besides Mathis, you were the second person I met. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And then, I, and then I, mean, I thought Jeremy hated me. And then I was like, oh, he's quiet. That's cool. Everybody <laughs> thinks Jeremy <laughs> hates him. <laughs> Everybody thinks Raven Dark hates him. <laughs> We all love each other. That's right. And why do you think this works? I think for that very reason. Yeah, that's yeah. a good example. Yep. Yep. We take the music very seriously, but we have fun with each other. Shit talking and such. It's, we're all on the same page. We all want the same goals. Um, we all have fun doing this, too. And it's one of those things. If you're, if you're not having fun doing this, then why the fuck are you doing it? Yeah. Exactly. World domination. Yeah. World domination. World domination. Yeah. Brothers and blasphemy and blast beats. Right, mm -hmm. Eric? That's right. <laughs> I know what I enjoy most about you guys is your personalities. You're all very different, but equally as hilarious. It works for us. The teamwork. You guys have a lot of really good teamwork and communication. And I know when I watch you guys up on stage, I'm just blown away every time. And even though I hear it a million times at practice and at live shows, um, I just think y'all are amazingly talented. 
So why don't everybody tell me what instrument you played? Raven Dark? Guitar. Bloody? Guitar and vocals. Eric? Cool. Mm -hmm. Drums. Murmur? Play bass and backing vocals. And Jeremy, you, or Raven Dark, you re recently started doing backing vocals as well. Do you feel like that's opened you up a little more than you normally are? Yep, except for I hate doing sound checks. <laughs> sound checks. Not bad. Well, they're both, they're both, <laughs> yeah, they both have come out of their show vocally. Yeah. I'm waiting for Jeremy to just like kick the sound check guy when he, he keeps harassing him to do sound checks. I'm, I feel like it's coming one day. Um, and I know you guys are going to be dropping a new album coming up. Are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, 10? Brand new tracks, um, unrecorded beforehand. Um, it's pretty much a representation of the last, last two to three years that we've been writing on. And the last year and a half with this guy. And Hell everything. yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, one, uh, just a slab of nasty blasphemous song. riff leading fucking devil music. Devil music, yeah. And we cannot wait to release it on you. If we didn't have a spot in hell before, this is guaranteed it. Guaranteed goddamn it. Nice. Song. You can't, you're not supposed to say his name. You say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys uh, looking forward to the protesters that may start to come out to our shows? <laughs> We've been trying like fucking hell to have protesters. I know, I'm dying to have some. We're working on it. That once again, this, this album might guarantee that. What do you think inspired this new album and the way it sounds and the way it feels? For me, it's, like I said, it's just a representation of us working together, being a unit, and a release of just everything that makes us fucking sick of this world and everything. And it's just, you know, it's just our way of showing our artistic side of just fuck you and your fucking god pretty much for me that's just me so you want to pure spite yeah pure spite everything that i've wanted to put musically drum wise into an album uh, especially a black metal album i have got to do with this it's been it's been fucking awesome Pretty much building off what the Scandinavian bands have done in the past and making it our own. Yeah, that's, that's one thing too. We have, we have made it our own. We have our own, <clears throat> you know, sound. And that's uh, that's one thing that I really love about this band. It's black metal, but it has its own sound to it. A lot of a lot of groove. Uh, some a little bit of thrash influence, but it's still straight black metal, straight Satan. Hell yeah! And do you guys do your own makeup? Yep. Um, for me, it's usually like a fifteen to twenty minute process. Sometimes, if we're headlining, which has been the most cases here recently. Uh, we have more time to do it, so I'll take like 20, 30 minutes or so. But then sometimes you're in a fucking hurry. You're getting a rush, 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 and you got like 10 to 15 minutes. You just got to slap it on and hope for the fucking best. So. Bet she gets all sweaty up there. Oh, yeah. Runs in your eyes and all that fun shit. Can't hit your face. No, nope. that's the worst. I want to scratch my nose so goddamn oh. bad right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Well, guys, thanks for sitting down with me tonight and let me do this and let me be in a part of this. I know I've enjoyed seeing you guys all grow as musicians. Musicians, I have been here since the beginning, and I've seen each and every one of you blossom and grow. And when you guys sit down together, I just think you guys create black metal magic. So, say goodnight, everyone. See you in hell. downtown Morganton and at the Brown Mountain Life Festival. We're ready to bring some blasphemy because we've already done got harassed by a good old Christian. Imagine that. And uh, we're just ready to throw this place down to do this. Jesus. <laughs> Are you drinking for me tonight?